Hey guys. Okay, here we are back again with the old home light, the big old 770D. And if you remember in the uh, last video, the oh the starter basically quit working on it, and then the fuel system was giving me problems. I think the carburetor just needs a little kit maybe, or maybe I'm having a venting problem on the fuel cap. But anyways, I didn't get to test any of that basically because the starter crapped out on me. <laughs> so now I got the whole thing apart because um, to get the, because I wanted to look at the points on it too. And so the only way to get the points out is to get the flywheel off and to get the flywheel off you got to take off this ridiculous starter system that home light came up with it's called the ball drive system and see it has those three little ball bearings that run it and it's just a big pain in the butt look at all the parts to that thing so anyways i thought i'd do a video and show you how this thing goes back together because before i found some videos on it i had no idea how this thing works and so anyways i thought i'd show you how it goes back together and uh andrew at butler outdoors canada bless his heart he saw my video and and without hesitation he's like i got a carb kit for that i'll send it to you and then he also um is sending me a ignition chip i think which i, I still want to see if i can get the points to work on this so if I don't use that ignition chip on this, Andrew, I'm going to use it on something else. But I'm definitely going to put that carb kit in it. So that guy is a good guy. So anyways, I found a video, Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. He's really good with these home lights. And he actually had a video on how these starters go together. Because, yeah, I mean, look at all the parts to that thing. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so anyways... Yeah, and I had a heck of a time getting it apart, and I basically figured out that you have to take it, you have to strip it down to its bare elements to get it apart, because um, if you do it out of sequence, you'll just destroy the whole thing. And So anyways, I got it apart, and now I'm putting it back together, so I thought I'd show you guys. So let's get her up there and put her back together. So first thing we got to put in is this thing that the, this is the part that the balls go in. So this goes on first, I think, like this. I had to watch his videos a couple times to, to get the uh, sequence of everything down. So you put the screws in for that. I, th I don't think I'm forgetting anything. So yeah, you get that in first, I'm pretty sure. So we'll get that bad boy in there. So anyways, you put that on first, and then, um, so then a ball bearing goes in each one of these little slots here. There's three of them. And so yeah, let's see. So first you gotta put in a thrust washer. That goes there, and then you got this ball drive thing. See this? See how it's a little bit worn? The ball bearings like sort of bash on the, but it still, it still works, I think. So, yeah, good luck finding. And there's two bearings inside there. I already put grease in them. And then there's like a seal. There's little seals in there too. Let's see if one of them will pop out. Yeah, there's like a little seal in there too. It's like, geez, this is ridiculous. Yeah, see that seal? So that seal goes in there. Okay, so if I remember right, so yeah, this goes down, or actually no. You gotta put these collars on first. So there's two of those. You put that on, put the second one on. And then there's like a little, a little like, uh, what did he call it, formica or some kind of weird funky washer that goes here. And then that goes like this. There we 
we go. Okay. So there's our ball drive thingy. And then you just drop your balls in. One there. Bam. One there. Bam. And then another there. Hold on. So yeah, see how that works? When you turn it, the balls... So they start to get flipped into their little cage area, and then when you want to engage it, it catches a ball and then and then starts it. And then when the engine starts, the balls, the centrifugal force makes the balls go out into here. So yeah, <laughs> that's a funky design there, that's for sure. So anyways, let's keep putting her back together. Oh boy, so now what do we got? So now we gotta put this retainer ring thing on. And that goes like this. Just like that. And that's what keeps the balls from coming out. I don't think I forgot anything yet. This is amazing. Little screws go in. Yeah, that's just like a that's just like a Rube Goldberg design there. It's just like geez, how many parts let's see how many parts we can make this thing. Yeah, and if you don't understand this starter system, yeah, like when I've, because I've had a couple of these saws before and I didn't dare try and take the starter apart because I was like, holy smokes, this is like way too complicated for me. But I watched Leon's video and then it made it a little more, a little more um, easier to understand. Okay, now we're ready for the next step, which is, I think we put this on next this collar so this goes on there and see it has a set screw that goes there which is this little guy there so we tighten that up <clears throat> see what I mean about having it in the wrong sequence so yeah if you have it in the wrong sequence then you can't get the rest of it apart okay so there's that now we can put this on thrust washer and then I think there's another washer lock washer and then finally our bolt here we go okay there so there's that and that spins freely that's good okay okay our ratcheting system works now now I think we can put on the starter cover with the spring. So that goes like this. And then we have to get the spring around this bad boy. Something like that. Yeah. And this goes around to here. in there like it's supposed to be okay so now we can put our screws in that I feel like I'm forgetting something but I don't think so I think we're okay so far at least you don't have to fool around with the with the freaking spring and all that crap 
Так. Okay, that seems kosher so far. So now we gotta put this cover on. And that goes here. Nice. Then I think we can finally put our pulley on. Yeah, it's not a funky setup. So yeah, anyways, for some reason they got these little spacer things in there. So we'll go ahead and put those in. I'm not sure what they do. And then this goes like this. Like that, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, let's get the screws in that. And then I think we can wind up the starter, the spring. Yeah, it's not a funky setup. Okay, there it is, guys. Finally got it back together. And then it's really easy to tension the pulley because you can just you can just slack up the rope and then put some tension on it and then just pull the rope back. Well, yeah, look at that. She works now. Mm. Okay, so anyways, I got her back together. So now, maybe we'll go through the carburetor on it again. And I do have spark again, so that's good. So anyways, that's the starter deal on these funky ball bearing, ball drive suckers. Mm okay, bye bye.